Hey, what's up? I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to use your Yahoo SMTP settings to connect to your email client or your WordPress site. You can configure your desktop and mobile email client to send and receive emails using your Yahoo Mail account. If you have a WordPress website, you can also configure your site to send its emails using Yahoo Mail's SMTP server, which is a great and free way to improve your site's email deliverability. In this video, we'll quickly go over Yahoo SMTP server details along with its POP3 and IMAP settings. Then we'll show you how to connect to the Yahoo SMTP server. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. All right, let's do this thing. To kick things off, let's go straight to the Yahoo SMTP settings. Here's all the essential details you'll need. Using the Yahoo SMTP settings listed here, the Yahoo Mail SMTP server lets you send up to 500 emails per day. To use the Yahoo Mail server, you first need to create a dedicated app password. Earlier, you could use your Yahoo Mail password, but Yahoo updated this requirement to improve security. Now you need to generate a unique app password. Thankfully, generating a Yahoo Mail app password is pretty straightforward. To get started, go to your account settings area and then click on the account security tab. You can access your account settings area by clicking on your username icon in the top right hand corner. Then click the generate app password link under the other ways to sign in section. You should now see a pop-up. Go ahead and click the blue get started button in the pop-up to advance. Enter your app name, which is just an internal name to help you remember it. For example, you could use WordPress or Thunderbird. Label this correctly, as it will help you remember the service the password connects to. Next, click the Generate Password button. You should then see the app password. Keep this handy because you'll need it when you configure the Yahoo Mail SMTP settings in whatever app you're using. We'll show you how to use this app password when configuring WordPress to use the Yahoo SMTP server here in a bit. The Yahoo SMTP settings let you configure your email client or website to send email via Yahoo Mail. But if you want to import emails to your email client, you'll also need to set up POP3 or IMAP for incoming mail. The Yahoo POP3 settings are as follows. IMAP gives you another way to import emails to your email client. IMAP works better than POP3 if you're planning to access your emails from multiple devices because it allows for two-way syncing, while POP3 works better if you'll only be using a single device to access Yahoo Mail. The Yahoo IMAP settings are as follows. It is possible to configure your WordPress site to use the Yahoo Mail SMTP server to send its transactional emails. It lets you take advantage of Yahoo Mail's generous sending limit of 500 emails per day and improve your WordPress site's email deliverability. However, Yahoo Mail doesn't always play nice with WordPress sites and hosting, and you might experience connection issues when setting it up. That mainly has to do with Yahoo Mail having reasonably strict firewall rules to prevent spam. For that reason, we recommend using another free SMTP server if you hit any issues, such as the free Gmail server or the SendGrid API. But if you wanna go ahead with using the Yahoo Mail SMTP server for WordPress, here's how to do it. To get started, make sure you've created a Yahoo Mail app password per the instructions I've already shared with you. Once you have your app password, store it in a safe place because we're going to need it for this next step. To configure WordPress to send emails via SMTP, you need a WordPress SMTP plugin. There are many great free SMTP plugins, but we recommend the free post SMTP plugin because it includes all the features you need and makes it easy to debug issues. To get started, install and activate the free post SMTP plugin from wordpress.org. Then go to the new post SMTP area in your WordPress dashboard and click the show all settings link. In the settings area, go to the message tab and enter your from email address and name. Your from email address needs to be your Yahoo Mail address. If you try to use a different email address, Yahoo Mail will block the connection and you'll see an error message in your email logs. Click save changes at the bottom. Then go back to the settings area. In the account tab of the settings area, choose SMTP as the transport type and set the mailer type equal to post SMTP. You should see a new list of settings at the bottom of the screen. Here's how to configure them. 
Then click Save Changes at the bottom to save your settings. At this point, you've completed the configuration. To make sure everything is working correctly, you can send a test email via Post SMTP. Go to Post SMTP and then click the Send a Test Email link in the Actions column. Enter the email address to which you want to send a test email and then click Next. If you've set everything up correctly, you should see a success message in the Post SMTP setup interface. And you should also receive an email at the email address that you entered. If the message fails to send, you can view a log of the issue from Post SMTP, then Email Log. Hover over the failed message and click the View Session Transcript link. Here you can see the log for a message that was unable to deliver because the envelope form email address didn't match the Yahoo email address. You can see that it triggered a 550 request failed error. Kinsta's WordPress hosting can speed up your website by up to 200% and you'll get 24-7 support from our expert WordPress engineers. Let us show you the Kinsta difference. Try a free demo of our My Kinsta dashboard at demo.kinsta.com. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.